Hi guys, it's Anthony Molinaro from O'Brien Real Estate with the final market update before Christmas with our main focus on the last week of transactions and our property forecast for the year 2021. Now with week 50 of 2020 gone and passed, Victoria recorded 2,194 sales, up by 32 from last week and surprisingly 347 more than the same time last year. There were over 8,000 transactions nationally for the week. Now for four consecutive weeks nationally, we have had our biggest sales week of the year and just set another record with 8,046 transactions. That's an increase from last week by 246 sales, making it five out of the last seven weeks with the number of sales transacted above 7,000 and nine weeks in a row above 6,000 sales. In comparison to this week last year, nationally we were up by another whopping 1,991 transactions. Now, as we race to the 2020 finish line, we have noticed both our national and state trends continue to rise rapidly. It is our view at O'Brien Real Estate that the first half of 2021, we will see much of the same price growth we have seen since the easing of lockdown restrictions over the last three months of 2020. Many economists are very bullish on the years ahead for property. SQM Research Managing Director, Lewis Christopher, is expecting prices to jump by 7 to 11% in Sydney and by 2 to 6% in Melbourne. And NAB's Andy Kerr is forecasting property price growth upwards of 5% in each of the two years nationally coming up. The main factors that form our opinion evolve around the fundamentals that consumer confidence is at a seven year high. There is cheap liquidity, the continued strong first home buyer activity, renewed investor interest and tight housing turnover. Loan deferments at the peak of the crisis in June accounted for 10.1% of loans. That number has dropped rapidly to 3.4% as reported by Moody's Investors Service data. Now, although rising coronavirus cases in the US and Europe have recently weighed on investor sentiment, we believe the vaccination rollout will restore a bullish optimism again. Investors returning to the property market in 2021 will continue and improve as a safe haven of the banks with barely enough return on your money when you apply the rate of inflation. With the economy expanding in 2021 through heavy government stimulus, investors that sat on the sidelines in 2020 will find certainty back into bricks and mortar. Investors in 2020 accounted for less than 25% of the total sales, which is in fact the lowest participation level on record. Investors will no doubt be lured back by the potential of bigger capital gains and the very low interest rates available. The next major catalyst for market growth will continue to come from the first home buyer with their incentives continued until the 30th of June 2021. We believe their impact on demand will flow through to most suburbs through detached home sales and not so much apartment sales. Population growth in Australia in 2020 hit a snag due to the pandemic and we know population growth is a main driver of economic growth in this country. However, with no horizon for overseas holidays, we have seen local spending increase through retail and local tourism. In 2018, we encountered our slowest birth rate on record, lowering the average to 1.74 babies born per woman. And although the figures are not yet released for 2020, speculation is our birth rate has lowered to around 1.6. Economic stability in 2021 will continue to improve, China trading will improve and we will see stock market growth continue and perhaps surpass February's 2020 all-time record. The good news keeps flowing in at the moment with new job growth through job maker and job trainer and infrastructure projects. Overall, the economy is slowly recovering with business confidence rising and our international trade surplus now at $7.46 billion. We hope to see an improvement in housing supply in 2021 flowing on from the recent increase in building approvals created through Home Builders Grant and social housing projects from the government, which in turn should improve our stock turnover. In terms of predicting suburbs that should do well, our thoughts are family suburbs with great access to schools like Berwick, Essendon, Blackburn, Glen Waverley, Bentley and Bandura will continue to be very popular in 2021 and ahead. Suburbs that will provide well for investors in 2021 are those that are close proximity to the CBDs, transport links and universities like Footscray, Brunswick, Caulfield North and Geelong. The most popular growth corridors for first home buyers in 2021 will be that similar to 2019 and 2020. The postcode being 3064 in the city's outer north will continue to be the most popular, followed by 3029 in the city's outer west. 
along with Clyde North and Officer in the southeast. New land that has opened up in Sunbury, Plumpton and East Pakenham is providing to be popular as buyers look for new digs. Regionally across Victoria we see great opportunities for growth in Ballarat and Geelong along with Bendigo, Wangaratta and of course Warrigal. I'm Anthony Molinaro and remember the information provided is of a general nature. You should always seek independent legal financial taxation or other advice in relation to your unique circumstance. Thanks again for watching and until next time, it is bye for now.